very good evening to Ms. Ma'am Chairperson and my dear friends and a special word of thanks to the organizers, of course, Ajit Ma'am and Arpana Ma'am. I'm truly be obliged to being given this opportunity to stand on this August platform. I will be presenting three of my compositions today. The first is on the evergreen topic of the girl child. The second is on ever-inspiring nature. And the last is for my country. I would like to think that I am supporting the Sufi movement in my compositions as I'm trying to convey the message of peace, love, and fellowship through them. And as a thread of spirituality underlies my thoughts, they can also be regarded as coming as conveying the Buddhist message of harmonious existence. I now present my first poem and beg pardon in advance if sentiments feel ruffled, but such feelings do exist. The first one is, No Blight Am I. Long years ago, playing playful games, I discovered that there were different rules for me. No overstepping boundaries, no violating deadlines, no abandoning decorum. A barrier here, an enclosure there, fences all around. All for my protection? Did I need that? Why did I need that? Was it my fault? Why was it my fault? Just cause I was the female sex? Was it a curse? Robbing me of my freedom? A blight? Tying me up in knots? Ostracizing me? making me wail. Oh, why? Why was I born so? Many years later, enlightenment dawned. No, I was not a curse, a blight. Never was it my fault. For all my miseries came from men's hearts. Why were they not taught to respect me? Why were they not taught to esteem me? Where was the basic courtesy that I was supposed to exhibit? Why did they feel they were exempted and above it all? Many years later, this, dish, this illusioned heart did realize I was not the curse, the blight. The thinking that created that exemption was the culprit all along. Awaken, O oh my brethren, realize I too am deserving of thy reverence, thy veneration. For we both are sparks of the same radiance at the same end of a non-existent battlefield. Thank you. Going on to my next one, existence. Caught in a shower of stardust, sprinkled with a mystic vapor, quenched was a thirsty heart with enchanting dwells of nature. Like a golden bird, up soared I to the bright skies, whirling in a blue wonder, spreading my wings oh so wide. Down below, lush emerald greens inundated virgin lands creating ecstatic ripples spreading a gaiety all around to the sun reached I shedding a dimness of aeons imbibing from the shadows a brilliant shine full of radiance riding on an ethereal wave earthwards showered sparkles of glowing blessings and then there was I ambling along the path of life pausing hither and thither to savour the wondrous flavours of a buffet served by the divine. Knew not where my destination lay, nor the companions designated. Blithely did I continue on my way, flowing along with the stream of life. With merry regret in my heart, a lilting melody on my lips, onwards to the horizon do I move, ever in a shower of ambrosial confetti, for Chiseled with a divine love, my ephemeral being is a mute witness to his resplendent glory. Thank you. And the last one dedicated to my country, it's like a cry from my heart. They say, we are a secular country, and yet each thought, each action is steeped in fumes of religiosity. Be it to overpower or take advantage, a bad a badge of affiliation is prominently displayed. A god divided mercilessly, quartered and sundered, lost to the cause of humanity. Awaken, O ye heretic, shake your curving vision. Reality is beyond horizons, a soul-to-soul -soul connection. Use not the other as a stepping stone to capture a hollow zenith. Rise above a limiting power 
to embrace an enhancing love and let a wandering world be blinded by the brilliance of a dynamic, shining India. Thank you so much. I thank you all for your time, patience, and hearing me out. Thank you so much.